All right, and time now to get a check on the forecast. Hey, Tim. Hey, good afternoon, Lucy. A really pleasant afternoon. Really nice wrap to the work week out there. Lots of sunshine. In fact, can't even find a single cloud out there. But the temperatures are chilly and the breeze is up as well. And you put those two together with numbers in the 40s, it feels like it's in the 30s still out there. Now, the clouds will build into the picture during the day on Saturday. We may even squeeze out an isolated shower or two during the day tomorrow. But the more widespread precipitation uh, likely in here on Sunday with what looks now to be a weaker, flatter storm track for Sunday and you know we we're talking this morning how we just weren't sure yet where this storm would track. We're getting a little bit more of a consensus uh, after the morning models came out. We'll talk a little bit about that in just a second, but sky view outside here again, not a cloud to be found, but temperature wise, it is very chilly out there. 44 degrees right now when that wind does kick up because we've seen gusts up to 25, it makes it feel like the wind chills down in the upper 30s in a lot of areas. Actual air temperatures here though, everybody pretty much in the same boat in the middle 40s and almost everywhere. Uh, 46 down in Williamsburg, 44 Elizabeth City to Portsmouth and 45 in Virginia Beach. You factor in the breeze and we're talking wind chills yet again. A lot of spots feels like it's in the 30s out there so far within the lunch hour. Uh, 40 it feels like in Williamsburg, 37 in Suffolk over to Moyoc. Satellite imagery you saw in the sky view, not a single cloud out there and that's verified here. In fact, all the way off to the west, it's pretty much the same sort of deal. High pressure and control, but our next system, which right now doesn't look like anything at all, is diving in out of the northwest and once it goes far enough to the southeast it pulls up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and then heads towards the east coast and from there it'll develop into a little little system that will bring us a little bit of precipitation here on Sunday. Temperature wise over the next couple of hours we're going to stay in the upper 40s to around 50 and that sun sets it's going to be another chilly night. Let's go through future cast here uh, through the rest of the day sunshine and then again we cool down tonight. The first half of the night we'll see clear skies building those clouds in towards morning so that'll cap our temperatures. We'll still make it into the low 30s and some spots around that freezing mark if enough moisture gets here ahead of time we could see a few sleep pellets mixing on in again. This is very isolated. This isn't the main event. This is just during the day on Saturday. That clears out of here. We see a little break or a lull in the activity right through Saturday night and even through a good chunk of Sunday as it looks right now. The timeline a little bit later. So as we push ahead here to Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, we start to see the precipitation build on in here. Some of it coming down heavy at times, and I wouldn't even be surprised if we're seeing some sleet mixing in at this point because you see the rain snow line not too far off to our north and west. It's between us and Williamsburg, so pretty close to the area here. And as we go through the rest of the morning hours and early Monday with cold air being drawn down, we could end as a brief period of wintry weather by Monday morning, although even though right now it doesn't look like a very potent system. Nonetheless, we still have the cold air in place. So 50 today, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, uh, breezy and cool out there. And tonight we drop back to 31 with increasing clouds towards morning. It will be another cold one. And there's a look at your seven day forecast. 53 tomorrow. Uh, we got a 20% chance of an isolated shower. I think rain builds in here to start things off Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening and with that cold air building down. We could see it ending as uh, some wintry mix northwest of the city and if enough cold air gets in here, we could even see it come on into a uh, Norfolk area. We'll see. Mm, all right. See what that looks like. Thanks, yeah. Tim.